Greetings folks. The good folk at Secure have sent me a couple of electronic screwdrivers to check out. We have the ES555 and the ES666. The ES555 is slightly more basic and less expensive. ES666 is, uh, has a few extra features and a slightly bigger battery, but we'll have a closer look uh, at both of them. Now they are a bit of a luxury, uh, electronic screwdrivers. Uh, we can all get by with just having normal old screwdrivers like these ones, but there are a few situations where electronic screwdrivers uh, excel, I think, and I'll show you an example of that in a little while. Uh, first off, we'll have a look at the ES555. So this is the kit, so we get all we get a, a set of 30 screwdriver bits. Uh, we also get a charging and firmware update cable. We get a QR code which is supposed to go to the manual, but it's uh, an obsolete link, so I don't actually have access to a manual at this stage. And we get this little gadget here, which is a which says uh, magnetize and demagnetize. So I guess that is to add or sub subtract magnetism to the uh, the little bits. Uh, but without the manual, I don't really know how to use that. So ES triple five. This is the more basic one. Let's uh, choose a bit. Pop it in there, four millimeter screwdriver bits, uh, lots of different shapes and sizes. We basically have a uh, clockwise button, anti clockwise button, and a power or selection button there. And basically, you push the button to make it rotate one way, push the other button to make it rotate the other way. And we also have, I hope we're focusing on that, battery level here and talk, three different torque levels as well. Um, so I'm just leaving it on the minimum torque for the moment. We also have another feature where if you push and hold the power button, you get that little indication there. And now if you hold the button for half a second, it will rotate continuously until you stop it or until the uh, torque level is reached. Now as a demo, I'm going to pull apart this little run cam thumb, which has stopped working on me while I was trying to do a flight review, which is very annoying. So I'm just going to pull it apart to see if I can find anything obvious wrong with it and this makes life very easy whoops we're still in that mode let's change it to the other mode so this is just the operate while you hold the button down mode there also is a manual mode where you insert the screwdriver and use your own power to rotate. Now that's an extra uh, mode for no extra cost. But this is the value of an electronic screwdriver. Saves your uh, wrist power. Now we've got the cover off. Now we can pull the offending camera out. And have a closer look to see if we can find anything wrong with it. Maybe not. But now to put it back together, I'll show the minimum torque setting, which is perfect for little things like this. I'll just hold my finger down and that stops when it tightens up. Quick and easy. Look at that. So there you go. That's what they're useful for. Now uh, I'll show you the other one, the E triple six, which has a few, the ES triple six, which has a few more features. But I'd be quite happy with that one. The price of these are around thirty dollars for the kit, and the ES triple six around forty five for the kit. So pretty inexpensive. So ES triple six, same thing. We've got the uh, Defunct manual QR code, USB charging, 30 bit collection of uh, screwdriver bits, and the little magnetizer demagnetizer. Now, here's the ES666. We get an, uh, a little OLED screen, and we get automatic 
and different torque settings on there. Six levels of torque settings and an automatic torque setting. Let's put it on the one. And for this one, you hold the button down and just give, the, give it a twist of your wrist and it detects which direction you want to go. And with the auto, uh, we get auto torque, I would imagine. And the two buttons operate a bit differently. We have the front button. Oh, the rear button, you also get the LED coming on. That's pretty cool. Now, one of the situations where you really can use an electronic screwdriver is in these awkward under, uh, under tail screws on the Volantex models, the Rangers and the Phoenix, and just getting your fingers in there to operate a screwdriver is really, really awkward, but uh, that's where an electronic screwdriver really comes into its own. You can do that so easily now. There we go. Uh, I would find I had aching wrists at the end of that if I was just using a normal screwdriver to try and do it. See that trying to trying to operate in that sort of restricted space is uh, very awkward indeed. All right, so let's go over to the website and have a look at the specs and uh, see what's happening. So we're on the secure website and this is the ES555. Uh, the unit by itself is $25.50 and the kit is about 30 bucks. Torque is 2 kilogram centimeters, uh, manual torque, that's just uh, turning it yourself, it can handle 22, 3 gears, uh, 500 milliamp hour battery. No load walk working time is 4 hours, uh, USB-C charging, 4 millimeter hex uh, tips. And that's all pretty good. And now let's go over to the ES66. Uh, the unit by itself is 38 bucks. The kit, 44.50. Same torque settings. We've got seven torque gears and a slightly larger capacity battery, 600 milliamp hours. So that's all very good. Interesting little pieces of equipment and uh, not essential, but uh, very useful when you do need them. The secure es Triple five and ES triple six electronic screwdrivers, maybe a gift for someone on a special birthday or something like that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Oh, and they've got a ten percent discount uh, for the Chinese New Year celebration at the time of recording of this video. I'll put it up straight away, so you uh, you've got about a day and a bit to take advantage of that ten percent discount.